Hey guys, welcome back to the 1.12 pack, where today I want to play around with the Batania mod, which is fortunate because I got a Batania, Le Alexia Batania last episode, I think, which basically tells you the entire mod. So, what we want to make are the Bell Thorns, I think they're called, because if I'm not wrong, they're the ones that damage mod mods, they damage mobs. So we'll try and place one like maybe it's there. And there, so that way if any mobs follow me up the stairs, they should hopefully die before they get to me. Which will be very cool. And, yep, it's already on. We want to make the... Let's see if I can say this. The Sojourner's Sash, which... Where does it say? It says... Here we go. When equipped... Oh, hang on. When equipped in the belt slot, and when worn, will increase movement speed... Jump height and resistance to fall damage, which is pretty good. And then we want to make where's it at the circus amulet because it gives you double jump. And who doesn't want double jump? Like, lit the double jump is just the coolest sounding thing in the world. And then potential hang on, I didn't even a tiny planet. The tiny planet is a bauble with gravitational properties. All right, no, yeah, actually, no. And maybe the third eye, because it highlights any mobs through walls and stuff, which sounds very cool. But, before we do any of that, what we... Hang on, is... Is it... Oh, no, it is. I thought my audio wasn't playing for a second. Um, but before we do that, we need to get Mystic Flowers. I'm going to try... Oh, hang on, here we go. Purple? Yeah, look, like this one here. So there are 16 of these. Like, 16 different colours, not 16 magenta flowers in the world that would take me years to find them i think this might be the blue ones yep it is and we need the guide that i looked at said we need roughly 16 of each but i think we'd get away with a lot less than that right then so we've got everything we need to start with i will need to make another cut to get some stuff for the baubles and stuff but for the time being i think it goes like that oh wait hang on uh green flower i don't think i need many greens so we'll do that one of them there, two of them, and there we go. That makes the Petal Apothecary, which is one of the, like, most needed things, I guess. Because Oh, wait, I need water, don't I? I completely forgot about that. But, yeah, this is some of the stuff um for, like, the, for, for, the, for, the, for some of the other stuff. Uh, the redstone roots, really easy. They're literally just grass and redstone. That's all that is. But, yeah, I may need to go make a cut because I don't think I've got any water buckets up here, do I? Let's have a look. Anything in here? Oh, I do. That's fortunate. And four buckets. Yep, that'll do. Right, so. What we need to make first is the pure something. It's, it's a white flower. I know how to make it. I don't know what it's called, though. So we need two of these. And then we go over here. Oh, we need seeds as well. Fortunately, there's about a thousand thingies over here. So surely we'll get a seed drop in one of them. Two thousand years later. There we go. Seeds. Perfect. Right. So, and then we go over here. Come on, let me on top. Nope, that doesn't work. Um. Okay, so, and then we do this, I think. Ah, uh, you see, I can never get it to work. Oh, there we go. You literally just throw them, don't you? Four. And you chuck in some seeds. And that gives you a pure daisy. And it's just occurred to me, I'll need to make two of these. Because you need one to turn logs into living wood. And one to turn stone into shimmering stone? I don't really remember what it's called, but it's some form of stone. And then, with that, you make mana pools, a mana spreader, and a wand. Yeah, so whilst the... um. Living wood is being turned into the other stuff, and the stone is being turned into the other stuff. Uh, we're gonna make another two flowers. So we want to make we want some red flowers, some brown ones. I think it's the grey ones, isn't it? No, well, hang on, it might be. No, actually, I'm just gonna check the recipe. I don't want to make this uh, wrong. So it is two brown, one red, and one grey. So two brown. One red, one grey. Yep, and that makes the endo flame, which is basically a, just a good way of making mana. Or at least it's better than the um the the other two that I can't remember the name of. 
And basically the way it works is you place it down. I can't do it yet because I don't have the mana pools or spreader. So you place it down and then you give it like... I think wood would work. Oh no, I don't want to give it all of that. But I think it should... Well, actually, it might not work because it doesn't have a mana spreader. But basically, what you do is give it some fuel, and then it will start generating mana. It's as simple as that. So we'll make a few more of them, probably off-camera. And then I want to make this one. So it's, I think it's three. It's three of those, I think. And then, hang on, let me get the recipe back up. Two cyan. And then a redstone root. One, two, and that. And there we go. There's the bell thorn. Where's it gone? There it is. Um, get rid of that. And the bell thorn, like I said, pretty much does damage to mobs. So it's just a cool flower in general. So we'll put it like, hmm. I mean, ideally, I'd have it there. And then another one there. Because I think that would look cool, but... It might not stay there, because it, it just might not work. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's actually, it's already done it. Perfect. So, what, what is it actually called? Living Rock. Oh, it's, it's literally just as simple as Living Rock. So, Living Rock and Living Wood. So, we need this. We especially need the Living Wood at the minute, I think, because we need to make a wand. With just two for the time being. Oh, no, I need some more space. Uh, bucket, there we go. So that makes, that should make, oh, we need, ah, oh, right, so we need three twigs and two flowers. Right, I think I've got just enough um, living wood and living rock to continue. So, mana pools are like this, and we'll need at least two. At least I think we'll need at least two, so I'm going to make two. Um, the, the thing, the wand, is like this. Hang on, where's the... Where'd the grey flowers go? I definitely have them somewhere. Oh no, I used them, didn't I? Right, we'll just make some more. That and that. One, two, three. And that makes the wand of the forest. Which is pretty much, I think, is the only wand you can use. Um, But what you do with that... How do you make a mana spreader again? Can I do it yet? Yes, I can. There's the gold. And we'll need some more flowers. So it was that, that, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and there we go, we'll need at least two of them as well. So let's just, I'm fairly confident I can pick them up and move them, so it doesn't really matter where I put them. Uh, let's just put them, like, here for now, we'll do. So, mana pool, where's my endo flames, there they are, perfect. So you put endo flame, you put mana spreader. I can't actually remember. And I think that's facing the wrong way as well. Let's pick that back up. In about half a year. There we go. Like that. And then place the pool there. And then... You connect them like that. So basically, if I give this fuel, which I'm, I'm pretty sure wood should work, but it doesn't. Or at least... Oh, I've knocked a thing up. Oh yeah, there we go. See, now it's making mana, and it should, there we go, end up in there. And now what we can actually do is, all the, yeah, there's not, I was going to say there might not be enough, but yeah, what we can actually do for the time being is place a few of these down. Also, like, the better the fuel, the longer it'll um, thingy for, so it's always best to use, like, good fuel. So what we can do is we can make a little pool here for the time being, and we can make some mana steel, mana diamonds, and mana ender pearls. Yeah, so once I chuck this diamond in, I will have everything I need to make um, the runic altar, that's the one, which we then use to make the soldier's staff. No, it's not staff, sash. And little problem with the other two, because I can't actually make them. To get the circus amulet, I need a rune of autumn, and to get that, I need a rune of fire, and to get that, I need a nether water nether brick, which I don't have. And the third eye, 
I need nether quartz, which I don't have. So we can only make the soldier's staff today. Which, it's not too problematic, because it's, it's the main one that I want to make anyway. So we make runic altar. We'll place this here. And then, I can't actually remember what I need, to be honest. So, soldier's staff. I think it's four leather, a man of steel, which I should have. Rune of air. I kind of wish you could shift click this onto the altar. That would make things so much easier than me having to remember it. So, string, feather, carpet. Which I already have, because I got all the stuff ready for um, all of them. String, feather, carpet, and then I need the leather from here. Do I already have... I already had string, but it's alright, we'll get some more. So it's... I think we have another look, so it's... Oh wait, oh you just chuck them on, don't you? So, carpet, string, that, this. So that... No, so... No, can you please just go on the altar? That. Some dust. And then it was string... And something else. What was the other thing? String and a feather. There we go. Feather and string. And it apparently won't make the rune of air for some unknown reason. Why are you not making rune of air? I don't understand. Um, is anyone as confused as I am? Am I just really confused? As it turns out, you actually need mana to work the runic altar. So basically what you do is just put the stuff on, then you chuck some living rock on, which I've apparently got none left of, and then click it with your living wand, and then it'll make you the runes. So, now what we need to do is a rune of earth. Oh, apparently not. Ru no. <laughs> well, actually, I think you can... Yeah, you can. You can just click them on like that. And then four leather and a mana steel. One, two, three, four. Right. Um. Why is that not working? Hang on. Uh, where is it? Soldier's staff. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, because you craft it. Ah, I see. That would make sense. Over to the crafting table then. So, let's just... Plop it in here, because I can't really remember what it is. So, just staff, there it is. Put that there. Perfect. And then you go baubles. And... I'm not moving any faster than I was, am I? <laughs> I don't understand. Because... I'm, I'm really not moving any faster. I don't get it. Also, I think this actually works. Because if you look at this one, you can see like the red, um, like things coming off it. But if you go over to this one, there's nothing coming off it. So, I suppose I could lure you over. Perfect. Oh, you've got a bow, actually. Um, come on. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Up this way you come. Is he getting hurt? Yeah, he's getting hurt. Look, he killed him. Perfect. And yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll move that mana pool back over to there. But that's it. That's... That's literally it done. It works perfectly. So, I guess, even though the soldier's staff doesn't apparently work... I mean, does it stop me taking fall damage? It does. Well, it works. It, it part works. Part of it works. Um, so, yeah. I've basically done everything, except for make the other two baubles, because I can't. So, I think it's went pretty well. I mean, it was a bit staggered, because half the time I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you've still enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.